right, and welcome to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time around, we're going to be looking at a different type of DOFR module uh, than we've looked at in the past, and that is going to be the A167 right here in the center comparator module. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of the basics about what this module can do for you within your modular setup, and then we'll be looking at a little bit later uh, some demonstrations about how one can utilize this module. Uh, but to start out with, let's just talk about what exactly this module can do for you. Um, well, right in the name, the comparator uh, is going to give you a little bit of a clue as to what it's going to do. It's actually going to do some comparing. Uh, at the two inputs up here at the top, you can insert voltages, and then those voltages will be compared within the module, and then you can actually generate a gate from the comparing of those two modules, which will be then output down here. Uh, you have the comparator out, and then immediately to the right of that, you have the inverse comparator out. Uh, now these two are going to be fairly straightforward in that when this one is high, this one will be low. And when this one is low, this one will be high, and so forth. They'll always be the opposite of each other. Uh, so you can utilize that in kind of interesting ways, uh, rhythms and so forth, clocks, that kind of thing. Um, but that's not all that the module does. There's a few other features, and uh, as we go through the front panel here, they'll sort of reveal themselves to us. And I have a little bit of a setups of uh, visualizations that we're going to go through here in a moment that will sort of give you an idea as to maybe how you could use this module. Uh, so starting at the top, we have the plus in here. Um, and this is going to be where you're going to feed in a voltage. Now this voltage could come from a voltage controlled LFO. It can come from a regular LFO. Uh, it could even come from the random voltages that are produced over here at the A118 random voltage module. Uh, when you put in a voltage, this is going to act as an attenuator. So when this is all the way down to zero, you have no voltage going into the module, and then all the way down at the analog sum, because that's where whatever you have piped into here is going to come out. Now. Rationally then, right at 5, you're going to get half the voltage coming in from here at the analog sum. And all the way at the top, you'll be getting full voltage from here. Okay? So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, now the one thing that is slightly different though about this module, because what I just explained there is fairly straightforward as far as some of the other modules that we've seen, like VCAs, uh, where you know, at the very far uh, counterclockwise position, you usually have zero, and then when you go all the way to the other position, you're at full volume. That's pretty straightforward. However, this one has the one little added uh, sort of turn that this is a positive input here. And as you can see right there, it's labeled plus in. Immediately below that, you have the minus input or the negative input. Uh, and that's also labeled as well. So what this is going to do is it's going to actually invert whatever the input is at this jack. Uh, we'll see this here in a moment when I show this to you, but for now let's just understand that all the way over here, counterclockwise position, is going to be zero, so no signal coming in, and then all the way over here is going to be full level. Okay, This will make more sense when we start uh, actually seeing what's happening here. But the idea is that anything coming into either of these ports is going to be fed out at the analog sum right here. Okay. Uh, immediately to the right of the analog sum, you have an offset. So if the level that's coming out is not ideal for what you're patching it into, or if it's slightly off, or if you just need to adjust it, you have this offset dial right here. Uh, now you can adjust it all the way up to plus 5, right there. And if you're thinking, you know, 1 volt per octave, then that's actually 5 octaves. Uh, but you can also offset it in the opposite direction. So that would be all the way down to minus 5, 
right there. In the center, you have zero. So no offset being applied there in the center position. Okay, okay, we're doing fine. Let's go down to the next dial. The next one is labeled gap. Uh, this is going to be specifically used when you're using the comparator to compare voltages coming in at these inputs. Um, and more specifically, in reference to generating a gate. So all the way down here at the bottom, um, and I'm kind of starting to think of this more as a sensitivity or a threshold of the gate. Um, once we start piping voltages in here, we'll see a little bit more of a demonstration because it has a direct effect on how sensitive the gate output is going to be. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much more detail other than to say that because uh, this module uh, and some of its functions uh, sort of eluded me for quite a bit of time before I got to sort of a nice understanding of it, at least so that I can utilize this within my modular system. But at any rate, that brings us full circle all the way down to our comparator out and our inverse comparator out. And we already mentioned earlier that comparator out is going to feed out a gate signal um, once it processes the two inputs here, it's going to feed out a gate single signal, and then this is going to be controlling the threshold of how often that gate signal goes off. The gate signal over here is always going to be the inverse of whatever is coming out here. Uh, the LED here is only meant to give you an indication as to when the comparator is firing a gate. So you'll get a visual representation, uh, just like you would on any other module. Uh, such as a clock or anything like that, just to let you know, hey, something's going off here. So, there you go. That is, for the most part, the basics of this module. Uh, but as we go into the next portion, we're going to be looking at some creative sort of visualizations for this module. Um, we're going to be actually looking at some of the offset features of the A167. Um, and then showing you exactly how it affects a waveform. Uh, if I pop over here to my oscilloscope, uh, we're going to be using this oscilloscope to show you what exactly the offset is going to be providing for you. So please, please stay tuned for the next part of this and uh, keep on patching out there. Thanks for watching.